Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How to make awesome gaming videos using Lightworks. Today, I'm gonna to show you in less than 10 minutes how you can make a great YouTube gaming video using the free version of Lightworks. So this application costs you no money. Uh, you will have needed to have recorded the footage using a tool like Nvidia Shadow Play. Uh, but here we are, we're in Lightworks, okay? So these are all my existing projects. So all my Fallout Shelter Survival Mode, uh, videos that I've created for my YouTube channel. Uh, let's just go into one. So here we go. This is the structure. It's finished. Uh, but what we're going to need to do is do a new video. So we're finding out what the last uh, video in the series was. Uh, we come out and then what we want to do is create new project, give it a title. I've already copied uh, the previous title. So we know it's part 20 and then we go part 21. So here we are. You want to go to local files and then you want to go to wherever you have saved your video files. Now, depending on where your PC is saving them, it may well be in videos. So you can then go to Shelter 2, but these are all the different videos that are recorded uh, for my PC. So you go to where your image is saved as well for your thumbnail, because you want it to appear briefly at the beginning of the video. So this is it, so Fallout Shelter Survival Mode, click not imported and go yes. That is now in our project file. Then what I am doing is going to where the video files themselves are saved, which for me is on my D drive. So I go to Fallout Shelter survival mode. I work out which video is the next in the series that I need to use. Okay, so I used the 11.40 on the previous video. So for this video, I need to use the 11.43 on the 19th of October. So again, same, click on import and go yes. Now within our workspace, which is in the edit tab, we have our logo, so our thumbnail, and we also have the video itself. So use the blue arrow to mark your in point, and then the right hand blue arrow to mark your out point. You want about three or four seconds and then click the little down arrow. Now we've got three and a bit seconds of our thumbnail at the beginning of the video. Next, we want to put in the actual video itself. So scroll along on your video till you get rid of, as an example, in the top right there's the Nvidia icon. We wanna get rid of that and mark your in point. Then scroll all the way to the end of the video. So scroll through. You can check the content as you're going so you know what's going to be inside the video, but we're gonna do that in much more depth in a minute. So keep going through. And then when you get to the end of your video, uh, you will see, as an example, my NVIDIA tab coming up. So as we get to the end, so here we go, you will see, if I scroll back a little bit, there was the NVIDIA. So we wanna scroll back before that appears and then mark the outro point. And then again, blue down arrow drops the video into our workspace. Now, the next thing that you want to do here is scroll through all of the video to find your delete points. So I just closed the main uh, workspace because we don't need it. So now we only need to have the sequence to work on. So go to your audio tab and you also want to drop channels one and two, so A1 and A2 to minus 30 decibels. Now what that does is it reduces the game volume. So when you record your voice, uh, the people watching your YouTube videos can actually hear your voice over the game content. Okay, so now we scroll through the video and what we wanna do is find any dead space. Okay, so now for you that could be anything, uh, but for me it's normally the loading screen. So here we go, we've got a loading screen. Now we don't want that appearing in the video itself, so we want to enter a cut point. So here we go, this is a good cut point, they're going on a quest. So we enter the in point and then we scroll through the loading screen until it disappears and we're happy with where everything is. Mark the out point and then click the two arrows that point towards each other. Now what that does is it cuts out that piece of video that we do not want and naturally splices them together so there's no gap. So the video flows. Uh, as long as it's not too jarring, it's not really noticeable to people when they're watching the video um, with how seamlessly it cuts the footage out. So you can do transitions, but I find transitions are unnecessary. Now this is the end of the quest. So we're marking another in point. Oh, well, do we want to have that? Yes, maybe. So scroll a little bit further forwards 
and change our endpoint. So click the endpoint again. Oh wow, now we've realized that we can see the rewards and everything else. So we still want that in the video. So let's mark the endpoint further forwards. There's the loading screen. So scroll forwards until it disappears. There we go, returning to the vault. Mark the out point and close the gap again. So we delete that footage out. So what you're doing is you're removing all of the dead space uh, that people, if they're watching it, would find completely uninteresting. Okay, you then keep looking through the rest of your footage, make sure there's no more dead points, and once you get to the end and you're happy, now we have the video that we need to edit uh, by recording our voice. So the first thing to do is click on A1 and A2 and it mutes it. So now when you're recording your voice, so click the microphone and record, you will not have the sound going at the same time as you're recording. So you click record, and this is the point where I'm doing exactly the same thing now. I'm recording my voice over the footage that I've already recorded. So you record your voiceover, and then my suggestion is you go back and listen to yourself like this. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Fallout Shelter Survival Mode, the perfect start. 2021 part okay so we stopped the video and we've heard ourselves we've monitored the audio levels everything looks good it's at minus 30 decibels for both a1 and a2 a5 is at a decent volume we don't need to give it a boost but we could if we wanted to so we could increase the levels but we don't need to do that now the next thing to do is go back to the edit tab and then export and what you want to do is export in h264 mp4 Okay, then you put in your title name, and this is how it will generate the video. So Fallout Shelter, Dash, Survival Mode, and obviously whatever you want to do for your title. And we know that it's episode, as an example for this one, episode 21. So put your full title in, so Perfect Start 2021, Part 21, and then you literally just hit Start, and that's it. You're done. It will generate the video, and once it's done, you can upload it to YouTube. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's that easy.